Hello, and welcome to the General George Patton Museum of Leadership. I'm Chris Kolakowski, the museum director, and we're showing you part of our interim exhibit as the museum goes through a multi-year transition to fully tell the story of Army leadership from 1775 to the present. What I want to do today is I want to show you one of our newest galleries, which tells the story of Army ROTC and the U.S. Army Cadet Command. Let's take a look. A lot of folks may think that the U.S. Army gets the majority of its officers from the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, but in reality, 60% or more of the Army second lieutenants that are commissioned each year come out of Army ROTC and the 273 colleges and universities in the 50 states and in the four territories that host Army ROTC programs. The governing body for Army ROTC is the U.S. Army Cadet Command, which is headquartered here at Fort Knox. And this map shows where they are and what they do. The headquarters here at Fort Knox and then their regional headquarters around the country. This is the first flag of the Army Cadet Command when it was created back in 1986. And in the center is the seal, which demonstrates the dual emphasis of the command on both education and military instruction. Many famous R many ROTC graduates have gone on to, to lead the Army, including General of the Army George Marshall, General Colin Powell, and General Gordon Sullivan. Army ROTC was created in 1916, but its roots go back much further to the founding of the Norwich Military Academy in 1819. During the War of 1812, the superintendent of West Point, Captain Allison Partridge, realized that the Army needed more trained officers for any future conflict than what West Point was able to produce. And so in 1819, he founded his university in Norwich, emphasizing military instruction. This is a Norwich cadet uniform of the model 1819, and is of a similar style that was worn originally back when the university was founded. Captain Partridge's system of education expanded nationally and, is, and led to the founding of similar universities such as the Virginia Military Institute and the Citadel in Charleston, South Carolina. Captain Partridge and Norwich University are, are considered to be the founders and the fathers of Army ROTC. The ROTC gallery has many objects and uniforms on display to help tell the story of ROTC's evolution from its roots in 1819 up to the present day. This particular uniform is from the 1990s and is of the style of the battle dress uniform that the U.S. Army wore at the time. This particular cadet is about to embark upon the Ranger Challenge, which is a crucible, a physical and mental crucible, that select cadet seniors go through to help prepare them for the rigors of leading men and women in combat once they're commissioned as second lieutenants. That's all the time we have for today. If you'd like to know more about the museum and its transition or watch more videos like you've just seen, please visit our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash patmuseum. Thanks for watching and have a great Army Day.